Moving on to digital inclusion, and to answer Mr. Cedric Fu, Ms. Tin Pei Ling, and Ms. Rahayu Mazam about how we're helping everybody benefit from technology. Digital inclusion requires access to technology, as well as the skills and knowledge to use it safely and confidently. We've organized over 90 digital clinics since 2017. And now those digital clinics were uh, by appointment, they were um, irregular, they were ad hoc, they were often organized together with other events. And now to provide this as a permanent service to residents, we've launched the Tech Connect service, starting at eight community centers last November. This service provides residents with personal assistance in a language that they are comfortable with on how to use digital devices and applications like Facebook and WhatsApp so that they can connect with friends and family and build stronger social networks. So it's how to use technology in a very everyday uh, aspects of our lives. But they can also seek help for practical issues like how to reset a password and this service will be rolled out to all community centers progressively as a permanent service. We are encouraged by the large number of seniors who have also picked up basic digital skills through our Silver Infocom initiatives. Collectively, our Silver Infocom initiatives have reached over 270,000 seniors. To Mr. Ong Teng Kun's query on how we are ensuring that digital connectivity remains affordable, the Home Access Program and the new PC Plus Program provide subsidized Infocom devices and internet access to low-income households. To date, more than 70,000 households have benefited from these programs. Uh, this type of effort is not new. Th these sorts of programs have in, uh, existed as public sector programs for, since 1999, more than 20 years, trying to find ways to make sure that uh, the vulnerable, the low-income households that will benefit from that type of connectivity will have access to the connectivity as well as the devices to make use of that connectivity. And we have different programs depending on whether or not there are school-going children in the household or not. In addition, MCI is working with IMDA and PA to run a pilot program for elderly residents in McPherson and Radin Mas constituencies. We plan to provide 200 residents who do not have mobile devices or internet connectivity with data-equipped smartphones. Grassroots volunteers will provide guidance to help residents build skills and confidence using this technology. This is part of a study, it's an experiment, a pilot, it's part of a study to find out how we can encourage and support the adoption of digital technology among the digitally less ready. <laughs> 